Lincoln Riley. He is attempting to cut every corner it takes to win, when in reality, you want your coach to be willing to move every mountain necessary. And he made some comments at Big Ten Media Day. I, I, I hated it. And the thing that I love with my college football coach, with my, with my players, with anything else, is that when they say, yay, somebody needs to call 911, but not for me. That's what I want him to be. And he is considering running from all the smoke. So here is the comment that really rubbed me the wrong way. And this was Lincoln Riley, but this is a symptom that other of college football, that's something that needs to be changed. And especially why college football needs a commissioner. Because the biggest problem in college football is not NIL, it is not uh, the transfer portal, it's not coaches leaving, salary caps, none of that. It is scheduling. That is the first problem that needs to get fixed that a commissioner would help with some sort of uniform scheduling, especially since there is more conference consolidation with the conference realignment. So Lincoln Wright, he said, quote, Bama was ahead of the curve for years. They did not schedule for their fans. They scheduled to win championships. That's the first thing. And on one hand, he is 100% right. And I would criticize Bama for it all the time. Like, how are you going to be that powerful and you are not scheduling tough non-conference games? And granted, people are like, yeah, but they did schedule Florida State and Wisconsin. But you have three others because you only play eight conference games in the SEC. Oh, it's a gauntlet, though. But they didn't play Georgia. This is where fans deserve to get the best out of players, the best out of their school, the best out of everything. They deserve it. Because as a college football fan, I want to see great games regardless of whether or not my team wins or loses. And Lincoln Riley said that he would love to keep the Notre Dame game alive, but if eliminating the game would help USC win a national title, then they would look at it. What? Notre Dame and USC is one of the biggest games in college football every single year. They play for the, the, the Golden Shalalay, and fans look forward to that. And so to take that away to win a national championship, it, it is, it screams scared. It screams running from all the smoke. And I want my head football coach to be running through all of the smoke. I don't think that that sends the right message to your players to say, oh yeah, we, we do need a little easier of a schedule. And there is a difference in what Alabama was doing and other SEC teams were doing when you had the BCS, which was a two-team playoff, essentially, a, a championship game. And then when you went to four teams where you're only having four teams when there was five power conferences. So yes, there was some schedule manipulation that happened. But in the day and age where you have 12 to 14 teams in a playoff, 12 for the next two years and then 14 after that, why is there any need to cut corners on your schedule? And this is where a commissioner would give a charge to the college football playoff committee and be like, yo, these non-conference schedules, we not having none of that. You are going to be penalized. You must play 10 power five games regardless. And SEC, bump it on up to nine conference games. Everybody's playing nine conference games, 10 power five games. That's it. Schedule uniformity. Because the Big Ten, great conference. And you had Pitt's Pat Narduzzi at ACC Media Day say, you damn right we're playing West Virginia again. And we would play Penn State too if they would schedule us. So he's essentially calling out James Franklin. And then for Lincoln Riley to cite Alabama and what they've been doing, when the last time USC played Alabama, they get lost by damn near 50. And this is not just a USC problem. This is a college football problem. We got a video dropping on Unafraid Show about the Georgia schedule, UCLA, because that game in 2025 got canceled. And UCLA replaced the game with Utah, another Power 5 game, probably the best team in the Big 12. And Georgia replaced that game with Marshall. How should Georgia fans feel about that? There has to be some scheduling uniformity. And fans, we have to stop buying into the lie that the national championship is the end-all, be-all. No, the end-all, be-all is great college football because we love college football. 
And yes, we want our teams to win a championship. But remember, fans, Alabama fans got criticized. Other fans have gotten criticized. Why are you leaving the stadium early in blowouts? Because you scheduled uh, DeVry and you're up by 50 points at halftime. Yes, I'm out of here. Or no, I'm not coming because it's expensive to park, expensive to eat, and I'm not getting a quality football game and I can be watching other good games at home or partying with the, with the homies or at something doing a honeydew list with the wife, something. 